Culture Night Kerry is a very countywide event. There's actually 45 events on this year. And as I said, it's not surprising because it's such a large county, but it's so well, uh, well versed in all the arts and it's so wealthy in the arts. We have creative writing, music, dance, singing, visual arts. There's so much on in the county and this really is a night where we promote the opportunity to access what is happening. And the Department of Arts, Heritage and the Gaeltho to co-fund this night nationally with each local authority. And the whole idea is to try and encourage more people to explore, experience and enjoy the arts and culture that's happening in their areas. So tonight here in Killarney, for example, there's nine different events. And tonight in the library here, it's the first official viewing of the copy of the Annals of Inish Fallon. And it's a hugely important historical document. Uh, you know, it was written out in, Anish Fal in Inish Fallon Island, and it is just a, a hugely important document. The library were just saying that they've had phone calls for the last two weeks, 10, 20 phone calls a day, people interested in coming tonight to witness this event. And it's just fantastic. And this is only one of many, many events. We have the Killarney Musical Society, there is craft trails, there is uh, kiddies dancing and singing, there is so much on all around the county. Also in the Department of Arts Heritage in the Gaeltheth tonight, which is just across the road, they're hosting the Killarney Arts Committee. Now this committee is a committee of Killarney Town Council who promote the arts annually. They're a very active committee and tonight there's a showcase for two hours of everything from music, singing, dance, film, literature, recitals. It's going to be a really interesting event and I think again something for everyone. And of course the galleries such as Frank Lewis, Stuart McCarthy, they're all open welcoming everyone in and in some cases there's storytelling, there's dancing, music, entertainment. So it's very much a case of come and enjoy what's already there. We have traditional music, we have African music. Afro-Chad Ireland are a very interesting group. It's a combination of musicians from Kerry and from Uganda, and the music very much covers both traditions, brings them together and sees the, I suppose, what they have in common and the differences, but in a way that's very enjoyable because, of course, both come from a very rhythmic background and the musics are quite separate, but they have a lot in common. So that is going to be a very interesting event. And again, it's free for everyone and all ages should enjoy that event. It's on the Kerry Diocesan Youth Service tonight. And as I'm always saying, this county is, it's a very vibrant county and it's not just down to the scenery, but also the creativity that exists in the people throughout. We, not to use a cliche, but I am going to use it, we do punch above our weight in terms of arts and culture. It is a county that has a far reaching impact in the arts sector internationally. And we're very lucky in that case. And again, tonight is a time to come and enjoy and experience all that.